for those of you who don't really know me, my name's Laura and I'm an adventurer, which means that I go and do kind of crazy things. I sailed across the Atlantic back to England and then I went to South America and I cycled from Ecuador to Argentina, 7,000 kilometers with no money. So I was planning an expedition for January 2017 to go back to Central America, but the only problem is that the Zika virus is there. And for those of you who know anything about it, you can't go there if you're pregnant. Dun, da, da. So Ed and I got pregnant three weeks after we got married. And we've just gone and had the scan of our baby. You can see it's got a little brain there, which is more than I can say for me and Ed. And we saw it wiggling around and dancing and it's got a spine and a heartbeat and a brain. So by all accounts, it's a healthy, happy baby. My plan for the next six months is to blog about being pregnant, everything I'm learning about being pregnant, um, and how to stay fit during pregnancy. Because staying fit is really important. It should help to kick the baby weight after giving birth and make birth easier. Apparently, as long as I don't horse ride. Horse riding gives you muscles in the wrong place. So if you're pregnant, stop horse riding because it will make birth 10 times harder. That's the tip that I've been given. No horse riding. Um, and over the past three months, I found myself really craving shitty food, if I'm allowed to say that. I felt really guilty, but everything else made me feel sick. Anything healthy, I wanted just just to put all over it. So, just gotta listen to your body, I think. The body wants crap food because it knows it's safe and it won't get sick off it. But now my appetite's coming back. I'm getting into healthier food again. So if you've just found out you're pregnant, like I did three months ago, well, about two and a half months ago, eat the crab food and sleep. It's okay because you'll feel better and then you'll get back into exercise and you'll get back into healthy eating after. Um, so over the next six months, I'm going to blog about the pregnancy and eating right and exercising and safe exercises for you and the baby and then I'll show you what it looks like in six months time and then January 2018 I'll resume my expedition lifestyle I won't be able to do my six month trips or two month three month trips anymore it will have to be like two three weeks maximum because I don't think I want to be away from it any longer than two weeks.